Okay, so here we have the Totohiri Collective, which is human resourcing, outsourcing, and consulting. That's great. I know exactly what it is you do, so that's nice and clear. I love that when I land on a website. Um, I also really love the navigation. So the way you've got for employers, for individuals, it makes it really super simple for me to find what I'm looking for based on who I am. So well done with that. The only thing I would probably add is with Let's Connect, rather than have this go to a form, I would have this go to a Calendly or an Acuity, something like that, somewhere where people can click on it, see when you're available, book their free 30-minute call and get down to business. The next thing uh, is the footer. We are missing a privacy policy, terms of service. Um, even if you're not selling anything directly through the site, you still need to have that linked and available for customers somewhere. On the design front, again, I think it's a really beautiful site. I think this is a really nice image, but to me, this image doesn't connect with all the wonderful copy you've got on the site about um, people and leadership and building relationships and human resources. So I would replace this with an image of a group of people connecting, striving, working together. Uh, just to make it super clear that, you know, you are a people-focused business. The other thing you could do here is swap the heading and subheading on the banner image or even change the heading to uh, something that's more of a benefit. Maybe some of the text down here would actually work really well. So people-centered leadership striving towards building people and then the human resources tagline underneath. I'd also add a call to action to the image. So that could be book a call and link through to that Calendly link, or it could be adding value to the potential customer and building that relationship through a guide. So a guide to people management or um, uh, how to build strong leaders, something that's going to be really valuable to your key customer avatar and add that as a button on here. When I first ended on the site, I did get a, uh, a newsletter, it's a pop-up thing, and it said something along the lines of uh, sign up to hear about our latest news events and webinars. Pop-up's great, but also we want to add that in on the homepage. So if you're like me and you closed it and now want to sign up, you can, you'll can you see it again. You can find it. You can sign up and get on that list. Another thing that occurred to me was if you have webinars or events that you've run before, um, add those onto the site somewhere. Have a blog. Include the webinar replays. Uh, include any free guides that uh, you've written, not all of them because we still want people to sign up so that they get that value, but have a few available so people know what they're getting themselves into when they uh, sign up to work with you. So again, I think you got some really lovely copy here. The other thing I would add onto the homepage is you have a document library, which is to me, it looks like, you know, products. It does say that you tailor them, but they're still kind of a physical product. Add the three most popular documents to the homepage. And if you can show people kind of without giving them all the information, show them a snippet of what those include. Make sure you tell them the benefits they're going to get out of using that and make those purchasable online. So let's just go and have a look at that now actually. So if we go to this document library, so here we have the documents. While a casual individual employment agreement may be really obvious to you um, and what it is and what it includes, 
to other people it may not be so include a benefit of using this uh, IEA under here and then under each of them just include a small benefit line on what people get out of it how it's going to fix their their HR issues and make their life easier some of them you do uh, so I think this one is more of like a bundle where you've got what it includes but also include how it makes their life better how it's going to make things easier for them and I would also create a package where you bundle all of these up together and have a one fixed price for an entire HR kit. So take a row like this, say this is your um, your top three products, make them clickable that, so they go through to a product page that people can then purchase online and you can have expanded information on what it includes, why it's important, the features, the kinds of things that you cover off in the handbook or the template. And yeah, and then have people be able to check out online. I know that you you will be tailoring these and working through them with people, but they can still purchase it online and then you can contact them afterwards and do your consulting piece on that. Uh, yeah, so take take the top three put those on the home page, make sure you've got some strong benefit lines there because they are just a little bit hidden here under this uh, drop down. So we want people to be able to find them because these look like great resources. Another thing here, we've got remote memberships. So here I wanted to talk to you um, about uh, how do I how do I say this? On the on the homepage, we talk a lot about uh, joining a tribe. Is this membership a an interactive membership with other businesses that are also members? Is there networking events? Uh, do they get access to a membership portal where they can talk with other business owners or is this just a you to them situation? Because if they are getting these other tribe or group like benefits, even if it's just a Facebook group where they can join and have discussions with other like-minded business owners, you should make that really, really clear in the packages because you know that's a great service if you don't offer that um why don't you why don't you add that hold a monthly um a monthly coffee group i saw that uh somewhere you talked about liking coffee being in christchurch maybe you just start off with a small coffee group in christchurch and then you build up to having a group or a portal where everyone can talk to each other no matter where they are or you have a a a wine and cheese zoom and everyone meets on zoom and, and byo uh cheese and wine and then they can talk business with other people talk about their hr issues uh their leadership issues in a safe space uh, also with the memberships i would add this as a as a pricing table on the home page for everything that you're saying you include here this seems like really really reasonable um price to pay so i would definitely show that off on the home pages and that gives you i mean it gives people a, an a, idea of what to es expect and then again more an, I, of an idea of what you offer also access to guides I assume that's the guides from the the document library so link through to the guide so people can see the the breadth of guides that you have available and just how much information there is there and how much they're going to get out of their membership the more member the more value you can demonstrate the more that people are, are going to want to sign up also a virtual HR health check and action plan. Do you have an example of one of these you could 
you could show people, um, show them what an audit looks like. You could have that on the blog, but link to it from uh, from this the service package page. Uh, what else did we have? Uh, can't remember if I, <laughs> if I said this one. Sorry, I've done a few of these today. Um, under the document library, you have a cover letter and CV template. To me, that sounds like something that's for an individual, not for an employer. So just make sure that that one is on the individual's page so that they can easily find that. And let's connect. Move the form higher up the page. I think this is a really good form and I really like how you've got these check boxes making it easy for for you to get back to people. Um, but just move that form higher to the to the top because if I hit let's connect and I want to get straight to the point and I'm having to scroll, um, you can lose people. So yeah, just make everything really, really simple and overall great job.